Now that's how you make a sequel. London has fallen. And so London has fallen is an upcoming sequel to the 2013 Olympus has fallen. Movie comes out next Friday. This is movie good guy. Uh, this movie is actually what a sequel should be. This movie steps it up in every way shape and form from the first one and this movie is really good as a standalone movie. I would dare say you can not even see the first Olympus has fallen and watch this movie and be like this is a solid ass good time at the movies. It's really good. And your friend could be like hey did you know there was a first one called Olympus has fallen. You can watch that one you'll be like that was good too. So we have two good fall movies. For all you people that think like, oh, London is falling, pretty much Olympus is falling, just set in London. And for all intents and purposes of God, it is set in London, but it is not a copy and paste of Olympus is falling. Pretty much this movie is its own standalone movie that just happens to be related to Olympus is falling. So that being said, looking to the protocols why I believe that London is falling comes out next Friday. I pretty much advocate you go see this movie. It comes out next Friday. You're going to enjoy it. I swear. If you love the first one, Hey, what do you need to know about the next one? First of all, I dig in the movie. Like I said, Gerard Butler, man, this dude is pretty much, I'm convinced. This dude is Sam Fisher. Him and his relationship with Aaron Eckhart's president and everything, the, it, the chemistry is there. It's awesome. These two kill it in this movie. Now, even goes far as say that Gerard Butler, he's more like in the forefront after what happened in the first movie. This dude kicks so much ass and he just kills so many people. You're just like... Yeah, you know, dead folks. So got that human that's great reminds me of John McClane and shit. Every time he kills the body, he just has, he has, he has some smart ass one liner to give to the guy or whatever. I'm telling you, man, that 2016's John McClane. Draw Butler was awesome in the movie. And like I said, Aaron Eckhart, he was great in the movie too. Dude, Harvey Dent as president, man. Like I said, everything from the first movie, the characters are in this movie and their relationship has grown. And you can see, Leonardo pretty much survived the siege of the White House and Olympus has fallen. So, London is no problem. I'm just another day at the office. But pretty much all the cast members from the last movie are in this one, more or less. And you got Morgan Freeman. He pretty much, pretty much explained to the audience stuff they don't understand, you know, for us slow folks. So, and he does that like a master. Every time Morgan Freeman explains something, he gets a new dimple. And that's a fact. So overall, I think the movie was spot on legit. It was great. You're going to love it. Plot the movie, more or less, the way it is, opens up, it takes place two years after the events of Olympus has fallen. One of the prime ministers of London pretty much end up dying. So all the world leaders got to gather around to London to go to his funeral and stuff like that. What could go wrong? Right? Right. right, pretty much everything goes wrong because when all the world leaders, including the president, get to this place in London, it's just hell on earth. And the way it's all done and executed is really well because it doesn't take long for it to get going. And pretty much the first 15 minutes of it is just all build up. Introduces you to the characters, then takes you to London, just like, okay, what's what's gonna happen? What's, uh, where are the shady motherfuckers at? Like, the way the camera just keeps shifting between people, it's after like, is he the terrorist? Is he a terrorist? It's the little girl with the rose who gives it to one of the ladies. Is she a terrorist? Like, you don't know, so you're just like, who, what, who's gonna set this shit off? Uh, and lo and behold, somebody puts a car bomb under one of the Prime Minister's limo, and then it's just Armageddon. Pretty much 9-11 of London. I think a lot of people die, I swear. The way these Prime Ministers get taken out is just like, oh my god, like... Did you see that? I'm talking bridges are getting exploded, buildings are getting exploded, limos are being exploded, everything is just death all around. But not Gerald Butler and Harvey Dent, no. So you got our action survival movie just going in full speed. And like I said, for all intents and purposes, it's not a copy and paste of the first movie. If anything, it takes what you love from the first movie, just, just brings it back and even enhances it. I mean, like I said, Gerard Butler, he kills so many people, man. It's pretty much the last half of the movie is straight up Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If there's any cons that I gotta say about the movie is I feel like the villain was more or less, he was good, but he was underutilized. The villain scenario in the movie pretty much reminded me about the Iron Man 3 effect where you got Osama being Kingsley pretty much like, you'll never see me coming. And you got all the United States pretty much just like, oh, get this guy, this guy's trouble. But then there's this other guy, not really the main bad guy per se, pretty much killing his character, just like, you looking for the Mandarin? I am the Mandarin. The in the movie is good, but kind of underutilized because he's in the movie, but not really. He got He's replaced with this other guy. It's just mm, not as good. So at the end of the day, guys, I can pretty much say that I went to London as following pretty much thinking like, okay, maybe it'll be like a copy and paste of the first movie. and It'll just hopefully skate on by on the heels of the first movie. For all intents purpose, I was like, this is a very solid, good movie, and it's a really good sequel. We have two good, solid 
Fallen movies. Gerard Butler and Aaron Eckhart, their chemistry is still great in the movies and they killed it. And the action in the movie is more high paced and high tense than the first one, so that was good too. And Finland was a little bit underutilized and the plot pretty much is this is a simple ass plot and just follow. And not too much not to like about the movie, what I'm trying to say. But if you had any nitpicks about the first movie, they're probably going to carry over to this movie and that's like it. So with that being said, I'm still going to give this movie a strong rating. I'm going to say that London is Fallen is a strong 8 out of 10, which is worth seeing at full admission. So London is Fallen comes out next Friday. What do you think about it? You're going to go see the movie. What do you think? Put in the comments. Let me know. Let's talk about London is Fallen because it comes out next Friday. If you loved it, if you're going to go see it. If you saw the first movie, then hey, let me know. Let's talk about it. And that's always, guys. Subscribe. Until next time.